Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Depending on the time and location you are tuned to our UAG Grand Disbursement Update. Men, the secret I have been exposed little by little. I want you to listen to this. Listen to this. Secrets are exposing. See you at the other end. Anyways, let me officially welcome Prince from Worry. He doesn't like uh, the name a legend or legendary because he has not achieved anything. The press conference hasn't come to, to reality. All right, Mr. Prince from Warrior, you're welcome to the hot seat chat show, sir. Can you say hi to us, sir? Mr. Mike, good evening, sir. Thank you very much. Good evening, sir. Good evening, Mark. Good evening, everybody. All right. This is the chat show. This is the emergency chat show. Call up by the legendary Ajayi Adegoke. It's an emergency one based on the reaction. He needs to respond, which he has done already. Uh, to the legendary admin Ellis. We have to straighten things up. So uh, let me quickly go back to Reverend Wagachuku. He hits me back with a question uh, that uh, didn't he answer the question. He actually answered the question, but uh, the way uh, admin Ellis wanted it was not the way he answered it because he asked, he answered it, let me put it this way, he answered it uh, diplomatically by saying that he was the one that you know gave you know the assignment of compiling ngos to admin ellis which was quite different from the story admin ellis told us you know the whole grants community that he uh apostle ken told him to fizzle out duplications of names so that was the way you know, the legendary Reverend Wagachuku answered it intelligently and diplomatically. I hope I'm right, sir. That you actually, you know, told him to do that, that uh, Apostle Ken never knew <coughs> who they call her, uh, uh, Admin Ellis in the picture. You introduce him because he happens to be your boy. He was your boy. So you introduce him officially and gave him the job to do. And he used your laptop to do those jobs. Am I right, sir? Legendary. Okay. I get my mic here. Oh, excuse me. Yeah. Um, I get my, I want to I want to promise you that this should be the the last time I have to have any word or talk about in the chat show about admin Ellis. And I want to plead with all my friends that say I should stop having anything to do with him or talking about him uh i'm not the one that uh, asked you about this chat show i just saw it i was shocked i decided to just join not that i'm part of it but i know you might ask me question let me just clear some certain things i had a response he sent to you you sent to me saying that i didn't answer the question i answered the question by saying yes i told him that and he said that which he said but i, I later told you that it was me. Let Apostle Ken come and stand and say he was the one that called Admin Ellis and said, Admin Ellis, come and take this thing and do for me. See, let me tell you. It's only God will judge everything when nobody can talk for you. When I came to, to Abuja the first time, I called Admin Ellis. He came. We stayed in a hotel in, in um, what are this place that time. We stayed there. From there, Aposken will call me. I will go and meet Aposken because I saw in a writer somebody that said that Minelis knows Aposken before then. I don't care whether he knows him or not. But for introduction, bringing him together, which he appealed to me because I was asking myself, what type of lies did I lie? Am I not the one? Did he not ask me to please introduce him to Aposken so that he will be used, that he is good in this computer something and creating of webs? I don't know the type of fly I'm lying there. I'm, maybe he has known him. I don't care. But who brought them together? Who brought them together? He begged me. Will he say I'm lying that he didn't beg me to introduce him to Apostle, Apostle Ken? So I, I'm, I was just asking myself, what type of lie have I lied? Let him come and tell me the type of lie. Is it not that he, he appealed to me to introduce him to Apostle Ken so that he will be used? Which I did. All the meeting I have with Aposken, did Aposken call him for one day? 
It was after I have introduced him to Apostle Ken when he started all this nonsense. Was when he had a meeting with Apostle Ken. Before then, he don't have any meeting with Apostle Ken. Before then, it was me. If I was going, I would call him. We will go together. Anywhere I go, I will call him. We will go together. Apostle Ken is still alive. And I said it after this incident. Apostle Ken told me that I was the cause that he he that he himself asked me if i trust him that time i'm not talking about today i'm not talking about today as of today i don't talk with that for now but that time was that time this thing happened he was blaming me that i was the one that brought him so what type of lie am i lying there yeah, I'm just asking myself, what type of fly am I lying? Is he not, he, did he not beg me to, to introduce him to Aposken? Why he say he knows him? Go and ask Aposken. You see, had Aposken called him for a meeting before that time, if not after he felt he wanted to betray me? Again, uh, he himself was aware of the international community, but he's not in the carcass. We will have meeting in the night. I put it in the speaker when he is there. Because we, we use the same the same hotel. Am I lying that he didn't hear their voice or he, he have not seen where we are having our meeting? What type of lie am I lying against that boy? It's only God that will judge all these things. It's only God that will judge all these things. Calling me a liar. And I've been asking myself, what type of, in all that I said, am I lying? Let him tell me that I'm lying now and let it be. Michael, let me tell you. There is no need of talking. Everything about me and that boy must surely end somewhere. Let us let us just leave about all these sayings we are saying. Times shall come, the action will take place. Because I know I have issue with Apostle Ken. And this issue, I didn't betray Apostle Ken. Everybody knows in the grand community. I just came to speak out when I see that nobody is there for me again. And my account was blocked. Nobody is there for me again. That was when I decided to start speaking out. So I will now know what to do. So how I come to talk about him or what he did to me. I didn't even say to grand community, but to me in person. You see? So, I, God, I have a case. I have a case with him because of that, what transpired. I must, and I've been hearing about this international community that after I gave him that money, that uh, they, they refund that money to him. But he didn't give me the money I gave to him. That thing is just burning my soul. I would like to know the truth. Is am I lying to admin Moses that admin Ellis that I didn't give a postcan that? Or is he the one lying that he said I gave him uh, I gave a postcan only 24 million? In the court, a postcan will prove to me with the statement of account if it's only 24 million I gave to him before and after. Before and after. And who even employed him to come and say that thing? That admin who him is I want to know if it's up if it is a postcan that told him, Oh yeah, come and broadcast and give account. Giving account what something that he's, he was not the one that collected, something that does not concern him. Why will he say it if not because he want to look for popularity so that he so people were telling me that this was how he betrayed Kingsley, that nobody works with him, that he will not do the same thing. Go and ask Apostle Ken. There was a time, thank God that KBB, I don't see him as somebody that can lie. KBB is still alive. When I brought them together with Kendra, with G Admin Gali, or I brought them together, that we all would not be friends. Remember, I've not seen them all for once. It's only KBB that I saw among those people. I don't know if I've seen the others before. We were working in good harmony. Until when time came, if we want, if we say anything, we shouldn't say out. Somebody will go and say it out. That was when the whole thing started. And uh, when I brought up, I brought up Oskin to their midst. When I called up Oskin to talk, when I called up Oskin to talk, up Oskin told me, do I know these people? Because he don't want to involve himself in calling him in a meeting. Because he don't know who is who. Because they were my friend. I see told up Oskin, no problem, that these people cannot, they, they won't do anything. The same people came up. After they have messed up, I locked that place. They now went and called Apostle Ken. They started being friends. Behaving as if they are the one that introduced themselves first to Apostle Ken. You see, Apostle Ken is still alive. This was the way I introduced um, Admin Ellis to Apostle Ken. Now he's trying to prove to me that he had known Apostle Ken before. You know Apostle Ken and you are asking me to please help you solicit so that you will be used. Why he was used in the, in the screening was because of what he has committed. But I bet all of them, they don't know who Apostle Ken is. I did not know him before until, until I have things to do with him. 
let us wait and see what will happen in future he knows how to just use you the way you are at that time and go his way that is that's the simple truth so let him not just feel that Abraham's game was happy hey, that's why he brought him no no he forced himself by going to castigate me so that he would take over then Abraham's can pick it like that i don't know being being a member of screening committee is nothing at all he's not among the 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 committee of the us he's not there so that is just like fitting rack that was used those people that that were used what was their benefit so Agama, i don't want to say anything again about adminelis but if i am lying say i'm lying let god judge it when we will meet somewhere when we will meet somewhere we are going to know who is lying against each other there is no need so today will be the last day that i'm talking about admin ellis let it just be my friends my people have told me begged me to stop talking about admin ellis and i am sorry saying this thing again about him what i said is we must say it somewhere unless god said this heaven and earth will just pass away that will no more be on earth but if we remain on earth after everything he must because immediately apostle ken is involved he will be involved because he said that thing on behalf of apostle ken because apostle ken did not come to refute it so i don't know if it's a plan d between both of them so they must be involved let them get ready any type of crook any type of lie any type of sand they will put together let them just make it available because i must by the grace of god see to it that is only what i want to tell you so please don't ask me about this boy again let him just go his way let me go my way he's ranting i should continue i should talk about oh god he will later tell me how he managed to know that it was only that in my life i've not made five hundred thousand before it was because of um uh, grant i made it let him go and ask one member member of our grand project group knows my place knows my church where i bought and built whether that project is a project of one million naira since they know that person knows me knows my place and this boy was talking this boy was talking that in my family and we are arrested this and that this, you know my family and he's telling me he didn't talk about my personal life let's just leave it we are going to see to it Ayama, please just leave this thing. I, 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 I'm no longer interested until at a particular time because this talking, talking, talking has not put money in our uh, ba, uh, in our pocket. I don't have the need of it now. Thank you and God bless you. All right, straight up, no ice. You just felt that from the eloquent speaker, the comrade in the Grants community, the legendary Reverend Wagachiko. Please, I want to solicit for a reconciliation, please. We don't need to continue this war game. The beef war game between you and uh, Admin Ellis needs to stop, and uh, we have to amend, you know, build back the bridges that have been collapsed. Uh, sir, please, I want to apologize for everything. And uh, we need to call for reconciliation, sir. We have to stop this. Uh, you are my friend. Admin Ellis is also my friend. No matter what has uh, happened in the past, we just have to put it behind and move forward and uh, end the whole beef. Anyways, <clears throat> this is still the chat show powered by Hits Me Foundation. And uh, me, myself, and I, the electrifying Hits Man, is the pilot of the show. Have you seen it, guys? Who says that God does not exist? This is how God will put confession in their midst and they will start confessing what they have done with our money. Guys, subscribe to our channel. We'll be giving you more updates. There is confession in their midst now. Our money will soon come out. See you on our next update, guys. God is not asleep. Let us keep on praying. Our prayers are working. You know, now there is confession in their midst. They are just confessing and they are quarreling among each other. See you guys.